So in this video, I'm going to show you um, how you can take a brand new cast lead weight for say a decoy <laughs> and we're going to make this look like it's been hunted over for years. We're going to add patina to it in a matter of seconds. The way I'm going to do that is I'm using this Novacan black patina for solder and for lead. Uh, I used this when I was working in stained glass. We leaded windows and when we soldered, um, the solder at the joints was shiny and the, uh, we used a Q-tip and we would put it on the um, shiny lot of so solder joints and make them look dark and old again, just like the lead did. So because this stuff is corrosive, I'll be using disposable gloves and uh, take a whole lot to do this. Um, I've had this bottle for many years because I haven't been doing stained glass for a while. Just add a little bit to a glass uh, custard cup. With a wipe. that shine is no longer there. Do the rest of this. This is um, a real fast way to make things look old when it comes to lead and other metals like brass. This would also blacken brass if you needed it. I don't want to let it pool for too long. As I said, it is corrosive. It could change the overall look. And then for the um, real fine inner uh, crevices like in the hole and where it says 12 stating the ounce weight, I'm going to use a Q-tip that I kind of pulled out of shape so that it would fit into this hole. And it would work into the crevices of that 12. You can see. And there you have it, one shiny 12 ounce lead decoy weight, no longer is shiny. It looks like it's been hunted over for years. And uh, when I dry it off, pretty amazing, huh? That's how I do it. I don't know how anyone else does it. Nobody's ever told me, but I think that's going to work. <laughs> I might take some uh, Pledge furniture polish and uh, apply it to this. It would shine it up and take away a little bit of that chalkiness and the matte finish would be a little bit... Uh, shiny but still dull. So hope this helps. <laughs>